Netflix is in decline, but I really don't think that's as bad as it sounds. Netflix changed the world, transforming the media industry it paved the way for other streaming services. But most of them entered the market more than a decade after Netflix did. Disney Plus launched in 2019, HBO Max launched in 2020, but Netflix launched its streaming service back in 2007. So with virtually no competition, this soon-to-be massive market was all theirs. In marketing, this is called a blue ocean, where a trailblazing brand opens up a new market space. In 2007, their valuation was 1.8 billion. Today, it's 179 billion. This only happens because more than 200 million people signed up as a user. But this unopposed success is why Netflix would inevitably decline. As time went on, more streaming services began to emerge. Amazon Prime Video was launched in 2008, but only in 2011 did they add a subscription service. By that time, Netflix had gained a huge edge. First of all, they had 24 million paying subscribers. But more importantly, their brand was the go-to in streaming. Hulu also launched around this time, but their business model is different. They tend to offer reruns of old American shows. Netflix, however, is more known for its own original programming. Fast forward to today. There is Apple TV, Paramount+, Disney+, Lionsgate+, AMC+, Hulu, HBO Max, Amazon Prime, Peacock, and more. If we're being honest, there are too many. It's a problem. There is no main rival to Netflix, though. It's more deaf by a thousand cuts. Some users will instead choose to sign up for Amazon Prime or Disney+. Some will just choose HBO Max so growth will not come as easily as it once did. And to be fair, that's true for all of them. The good news for Netflix is they were expecting this. They knew their isolation would not last forever. It was only a matter of time before other media giants took a bite out of their market share. To be honest, they were probably expecting it to come sooner. So the current decline of Netflix should not be seen as a bad thing. It's just the natural order of business. And on the bright side, many people use multiple streaming services. It's not uncommon to use two or three. I personally use Netflix and Disney+. I'm sure many of you watching do also. That's why Netflix still has more than 230 million users. Some people blame the decline of Netflix on their recent original shows being poorly received, or because they have a habit of cancelling popular shows like Mindhunter. And I'm sure this doesn't help, but it's really not the main reason. So that's why I wanted to make this video, just to make clear that if you look past their current crackdown on password sharing, Netflix was always going to be different.